Hello students, welcome curious minds to a journey through the intriguing realm of complex numbers. Get ready to embark on an interactive exploration where numbers become a playground of imagination. Students, imagine you have a key that unlocks a whole new dimension in mathematics. That key, that is complex numbers. So students, our new chapter, chapter number four, that is complex numbers here let's understand understand what make complex number unique have you studied real number we all know real numbers but we are today starting a new part a new part of our number system that is complex number they are like the building block real numbers we say that they are the building block of our everyday maths right but if I told you there is a whole number, other dimension that more than just imaginary number. So that imaginary number we consider as complex. So without any delay, let's start it. Students, have you tried to solve these equations? In class 10th, we studied about it that if we have x square plus 1 equals to 0, if we have x square plus 1 equal to 0, we need to find it. We need to solve the value, right? We need to find out the value of x. So, how to, how to start? x square plus 1 equal to 0, right? x square comes equals to minus 1. Now, how to solve squares? By taking root both side, take root on both the side and we have here under root of minus 1. Square with this cancel out. The value of x comes out to be under root of minus 1. So students, according to, according to our mathematics, if we have a negative number under the root, right? 10th class, we have seen that if root ke under agar koi bhi negative term aati hai, we consider that ma'am, it will exist in your paiga, this ka koi solution nahi ho paiga. They are imaginary. Have you studied D? D ke baar mein humne padha tha. What is this D? This is discriminant discriminant ki value agar less than 0 hoti thi right to hum kehte the roots are imaginary right to usi part se humne ye discuss kiya ki agar negative of negative of kahin par bhi root aayega to hum kahenge wo imaginary number hoga so this imaginary number we consider we denote this part as iota what we called it iota what do you mean by iota iota kya hota hai kahi par bhi minus 1 ka agar root aapko dikhai dega right agar minus 1 ka under root find out karna hai it's not possible to take the root of negative number so we are denoting this negative root as iota humne usko denote kar diya kis se denote kar diya iota means a symbol the symbol is i kis se denote kiya i se Right, friends? Now, here, जब भी आपके पास कोई भी concept आएगा आयोटा का, तो यहाँ पर हम कहेंगे, iota is under root of minus 1, right? If I am writing minus 2 under root, right? So, you all know, 2 का root क्या होता है? 2 का root क्या होता है? Root 2. But what about minus of this? That is, it is iota. Can I write like this? Minus 3 as root 3 into under root of minus 1. Am I right? Right? Koi bhi aapke paas term hai like 10. So 10, can I write 2 into 5? Yes. And we separate these two, root 2 into root 5. Right friends? Root 2, we don't know. Root 5, we don't know. Right? Simply we are not finding it in a decimal form. But root 2, we can't solve. Here root 5, we can't solve. So, we are keeping it as it is. Same as if we have under root of minus 3. So, here as I simplify, I am writing this as root 3 and this as minus root. Right? Minus root. So, root 3 will be as it is. Right, friends? And minus 1 root, that will be iota. What I am representing this as? It is iota. Clear to you? Okay? Jab bhi aapko kahi par bhi क्या दिखाई देगा आयोटा दिखाई देगा तो आप क्या करेंगे उसको कंसीडर कर लेंगे कि उसकी वैल्यू क्या होगी इट विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ माइनस 1 क्लियर राइट ये जो आयोटा का कांसेप्ट है ये हम कंसीडर करते हैं कि ये एक इमेजिनरी नंबर होता है राइट वी से 
this number as imaginary number right okay the value of iota we say this is under root of minus 1 right by solving any quadratic equation humne chapter ka naam hi jab start kiya to kya likha tha complex number and quadratic to quadratic ke time par aapko yaad hoga to quadratic ke time pe humne jab questions ko solve kiya tha to kya dekha tha ki values agar negative mein root mein aati hai to hum kehte the imaginary number hai right okay so here let's understand Let's simplify these numbers, right? If I have under root of minus three, so how to find out under root of minus three? I told I am writing this as root three into under root minus one, right, students? Root three, keep it as it is, and under root of minus one, this is iota. Now the next is under root of minus nine, so nine, nine means to write it as three into three, right? Now under root of minus one. Three into three, take the root of one term. That is three, and under root of minus one, this is iota, right? If we have under root of eight, right? So under root eight, can I write to four into two? Four into two. Why I am writing four into two? Because four ka root mujhe pata hota hai. So that is two into root two, and under root of minus one, this is iota. So this is the term that how we solve this iota. This is that how we can find out the root of negative numbers also right now here we are going to study the integral power of iota what is integral power that if we take any power integers power right 4 3 minus 1 minus 2 so what will be our answer so positive integral value of iota we have here iota is under root of minus 1 we define as this iota ko hum likh rahe hain under root of minus 1 now let's see that we have iota square let's consider that we have iota square so iota square i am writing iota into iota right iota can i write minus of 1 root of minus 1 and this also root of minus 1 so root into root right it is equals to minus 1 or we can write as minus under root 1 whole square square with this cancel so answer is minus 1 clear students If we have iota cube, so iota cube, can I write iota square into iota? Right? Iota square that is the value of iota square it is minus one and into iota. Answer is equals to minus iota. Clear, friends? Iota four we have. Then iota four I am writing iota square into iota square. Iota square value is equal to minus one. Iota square value that is also minus one. So minus into minus plus. So answer is. One clear. So we remember this value. Iota square minus one, right? Iota cube minus iota, and iota four that is one, right? In order to compute in four and greater than four. So let let's consider. कि मैं four से बड़ी value आ जाए तो I am saying if you have iota simply the value is minus one under root. If we have iota square the value is minus one. Iota cube that is equals to minus iota and iota four that is equals to one. But students consider that we have a number n greater than four. अगर n की value चार से ज़्यादा है, four से ज़्यादा है, then what we need to do we divide it by four. हम क्या करेंगे उसको four से divide करेंगे and obtain the remainder. Right? Let consider m be the quotient and n is divisible by four. So how to write it? If I have i to the power n, so I am writing n value of n as 4m plus r. This is 4m plus r. So 4 multiple I am keeping inside, I am outside, and then into r. Can I say this? If we have x plus 2, so I can write it as i to the power x into iota to the power 2. Right, students? Right. Same as it is if I have iota 4m plus r. Right. Then how to write it? Iota 4m. Into iota to the power r. If I have a number, let's here thirty three, right? Divided by four. So here eight fours are thirty two. Remainder is one. So what I am saying? How to write it? Iota, then four. Quotient is eight, and remainder is one. So separate these four into eight plus iota power one. Right? Sorry, into iota to power one. So here iota to the power four into eight. Into iota. Now, here 
what we solve eta 4 that is equals to 1 so i am writing 1 to the power 8 into iota so answer is equals to iota so this will be your answer right friends here the value of remainder jo bhi remainder hota hai wo iota ki power mein aa jata hai right for example if i take here any value take any value here right uh, see uh, let if i take iota to the power 57 right so how to write it iota first divide this 57 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 and then here 1 7 4 4 the 16 right so here we have here remainder 1 so i am writing iota to the power 4 to the power 14 into iota power 1 so iota 4 this is equals to 1 1 ki power kuch bhi hota as it is reigi and this is equals to iota right students clear now Let's understand that if we have negative integrals. Abhi tak toh humne dekha ki agar aapke paas koi bhi positive integral aega, integer aega, to kya hoga? Lekin aisa bhi toh possible ho sakta hai ki negative a jai, right? Integers can be negative also. So if I have here iota to the power minus 1, right students? So here I am writing 1 by iota. Humne kya kiya isko? 1 by iota define kar diya. ठीक है जो भी पावर होती है वो नीचे आ जाती है जो भी वैल्यू होती है वो नीचे आ जाती है 1 बाय आयोटा फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम राइटिंग 2 पावर -1 सो इट इज 1 बाय 2 रिमेंबर इट राइट इफ वी हैव 5 टू द पावर -1 सो इट इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय 5 सेम हियर इफ आई हैव आयोटा टू द पावर -1 तो आई एम राइटिंग इट एज 1 बाय आयोटा नाउ नाउ सी 1 द वैल्यू ऑफ 1 इज आयोटा टू द पावर 4 डिवाइड बाय आयोटा now, can I cancel out these powers and we have iota cube. So, value of iota cube is minus iota. Ready, students? Right? Right, students? If we have iota to the power minus 2, so how to write it? 1 by iota square. We can do one more thing here. We can rationalize it or we can put the values also. Iota square that is minus 1. Answer is minus 1. If we have iota to the power minus 3, I am writing 1 by iota cube. Right? And then multiply and divide by iota. We have iota divided by iota to the power 4. Value of iota to the power 4 is 1. Answer is 1. Right? Clear? Iota to the power minus 4. So how to take 1 by iota to the power 4? Ab iota 4 ki value kitni hoti hai? Iota ki power 4 ki value hoti hai 1. To answer kitna aagaya? 1 by 1. Right? Answer is 1. Clear? Got it? Now, iota to the power minus n. Jab bhi hoga. So, what do you do? Remainder ki value put karenge. Kya put karenge? Remainder. And if the value is greater than 4, simply we divide it by 4. Hum usko 4 se divide karte hai. Right? Now, one more thing. If we have any value with the power 0, so it is defined as 1. Usko hum kya define karte hai? 1 se define karte hai. Now, algorithm. How to find out the values here? To find the value of n. Iota, then for n belongs to z we may follow the following step for example if we, i want to find out iota to the power n right so how to do it first if n is equal to 0 so i know iota to the power 0 is equal to 1 right agar iota ki power n ki value greater than 0 aa rahi hai 0 se badi value to agar 1 hai we remember this it is iota if we have 2 we remember the value is minus iota. If we have 3, the value is minus iota. And 4, we have 1. But what if we have a value greater than 4? 4 se badi hogi to remainder put karte. It is for applicable for the uh, MCQs. If we have a one mark question, to aap see the aapko solve karenge. Remainder ki, ki value ko iota ke upar put kar denge. Chike? Where r is the remainder when divided by 4. Now, if n is less than 0, so, here if I am taking n value less than 0, simply you take the value and then take the remainder only. Okay. For example, iota to the power minus 57. Abhi humne dekha tha. So, I am writing 1 by iota to the power 57. Now, what we have to do? Then 4, right? 4 ones are 4 and then 4 for the 16 and then into iota. So, ye remainder ki value reh jati hai. Or baki value 1 ho jati hai. So answer is 1 by iota. Right? Iota into iota. We multiply. We rationalize. Iota by iota square. Value is 1. Answer is minus iota. Right? Clear? Now here. This is what is the 
introduction of this complex number right for the exercise you please watch our next video and if you like the video please share it with your friends thank you bye bye